Hello everyone, it's Alt Rider here and welcome to another car boot slash charity shop video. It's Sunday so that means I've been to the local boot but yesterday I did a little bit of a run around all the local charity shops and I found some cool stuff there for me and Oliver. So um, let's start off with a bit of housekeeping first though. I did pick up a figure this week that I pre-ordered from uh, Toys Arama, a um, website I haven't used before and I ordered this item around... It's got to be about four weeks ago. It was well before TFN anyway. And um, what they do is they sell Marvel Legends. And they sell the, th the three packs or the two packs. But they actually split them. And I saw this figure. I really wanted this one figure. But I weren't too fussed about the other two. So I picked up a uh, pen of thoughts. Which is really, really nice. Nice face sculpt. Um, it's a shame this hand doesn't go back a little bit more. It's actually moulded solid. But it's really cool. I really wanted a pepper pot. I'm still into my Marvel Legends. So yeah, I'm really, really happy to have her. Now back on Thursday, I went into, um, actually I had a little operation, nothing too serious or anything like that. But I went to there and then I decided to come home. And on the way back, I went to the shop just to get some lunch. And this local charity shop was next door. I stuck my head in and I found uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier for £2 on Blu-ray and it's still sealed. So that was a nice little find. I am trying to pick up all the Avengers Blu-rays. I have got a fair few of them now. I'm trying to do it on the cheap, to be honest. Um, so happy to have that. So let's start off with yesterday's charity shop haul. Um, well, charity shops haul. I went into the same charity shop that I got this from earlier on in the week. And they put out two baskets of action figures. And I thought, oh yes, there's going to be some really, really cool stuff in there. And there was. These were all five for a pound. Um, first of all, I'll show you what I got for Oliver. Oliver's really into his Ben 10 stuff. Um, and it was nice to find a few characters he hadn't got, including Accelerate and Stinkfly. And um, Heat Blast, his Heat Blast actually broke in two earlier that morning. So it was nice to find him another one. So the first figures that I spotted that I thought, oh, these might be interesting, mainly to sell on, is I picked up some, I believe it's Hobbit figures. So I got a, a Gandalf. A Legolas, looking a bit evil there. Um, we've got an elf princess, I think it is. I don't know. Is that meant to be Kate Beckinsale? I don't know. I haven't seen The Hobbit. I th tell a lie, I think I saw The Hobbit Part 1 and it was just a bit drawn out, so I never bothered with it. Um, I've got the dude who was in Strike Back, first series of Strike Back, and then was killed off, unfortunately. So we got him. Don't know his character's name. And then we've got... Is this... Uh, Bow bow baggins, we've got two of them. One's got his bag and one hasn't. And one's got a, a sword case and this one hasn't. So yeah, I picked up those. Uh, those, well, five for a pound, so there were six of them there. So yeah, about what, one pound twenty for those. So I thought I'd get those and, and basically I've stuck them on eBay, to be honest with you. There was a couple of Transformers in there. I picked up a Strafe. You might remember from one of my previous um, car boot videos, I picked up one that was missing the mouth. This one is not missing the mouth. He is complete, which is quite cool. I haven't decided whether I'm just going to pick up a load of these and stick them uh, in one lot on eBay or not. But it's pretty cool. I'm sure I've got a version of this. Not this one, because this is the one with the gimmick on. But I'm sure I've got a version of Strike. And uh, there's Crosshairs, which has a wicked car mode, but the worst robot mode I have ever seen. One of them big fist pump things, it, half the cars on one arm. Vile. But, yeah. Again, these are all in the, the five for a pound. Uh, I picked up a couple of Star Wars figures from my friend Luke, who I work with. I got him a Chewie. And I got him a C-3PO. Which I really like the C-3PO. It's really, really cool. It's a little bit loose. But um, it's, it's really nice. You can pull up some really cool poses. And this Chewbacca reminds me of a Power of the Force one that I've got um, still on card. Um, but that one's got um, snow on him. But yeah, a couple of really nice figures. They did have some other Star Wars ones, but they were really, really battered. On the theme of Star Wars, I did find this Yoda. Don't know where it was from, but I thought it was pretty cool. So he's sitting on my desk. Um, 
pretty cool. Oliver might have it at some point, or he might get a work and set my desk there. Uh, I picked up another Power Ranger, which is from RPM, I think. Um, he's really cool. Really, really enjoying finding these these Power Ranger figures, but this guy is a little bit loose. Um, yeah, I really like finding these, and I found all of these Power Rangers virtually in the same shop, which is pretty weird. Uh, there was a denim jacket, which was for some reason actually on C three PO. So I don't know if it's from another Star Wars figure or not, but but there you go. I picked up a Marvel Legend. It's a three point seven five uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, so yeah, he was cool. They did have an Iron Man and also a War Machine, but um, unfortunately, they were like battered and they were missing pieces. So I picked up this guy. I thought he'd be cool just to just to have. And then I got this really weird looking Joker. It's from two thousand and twelve, and I think it's called Attack the Box. Um, no idea, um, but. He's pretty cool. Whether I hold on to him or not, I don't know. Um, apart from, I'd probably say these two, everything else is up for grabs. Um, so if anyone's interested in them, just let me know. But I probably will be moving these on at some point. Later on that day, me and Oliver popped into a few more local charity shops. And he found another couple of Ben 10 figures, which he spotted uh, for 25p each. A Ben 10 Jigsaw, which 260 odd pieces is a lot for a uh, three year old. And of course, a uh, Flounder Cup. He's actually got a Nemo one. Um, so he spotted that and he really wanted it. And then we've got to today. Uh, so today, the car boot sale was pretty big, probably the biggest one I've seen in, in recent months. And like a lot of times when you get to these car boot sales and you see they're massive they're a little bit underwhelming i found the best stuff at really small sales like one or two rows um it's just a look of the draw really but so today i've picked up a fake lego shark which is really bad quality to be honest with you a power ranger watch which is using as a ben 10 watch a mini optimus prime and a couple of cuddly fish uh, yeah in no particular order but funnily enough, this was the first item I picked up. Picked up something else for Luke. He's into his PS1 games. So I found him X-Men uh, Mutant Academy 2, which looks like a beat-em-up. Uh, that was £2. It is boxed and complete. Just a little crack on the case. So yeah, uh, Luke's really happy with that. So that's something for you. I'll stick it with Chewie and C-3PO. Then what else did I find? I found there was a big table of um not table such a big crate of mcdonald's stuff and i started to look through for teen titan stuff for oliver and i started to realize these are actually really quite old they were three for a pound and i found a um armada cyclonus in there which i've already got but yeah picked it up um i got a watch which you've seen in oliver's hall in there for a pound he's pretending it's a ben 10 one um and i got this Unicron, never seen it before. It actually looks really cool. Um, I think I'm going to open it. I might do a video and just open this up. What do you reckon? Leave it in the comments below. I think it might be a quite little cool opening video. It's one of the Energon ones. I've, I've seen the Optimus before, the Ironhide and the um, Galvatron, Megatron, but never the Unicron. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Then I wandered around a little bit and I found a store where Oliver picked up that little tiny fish. Uh, the, the lady so nicely gave it to him. And we were looking on there and I spotted there was a jet figure on there, a gladiator jet, which I was tempted to pick up. But um, we, I saw this bag of guns. So I've got loads of these, these weapons. If you know what they are, please help. Dorian thinks they might be Action Master guns, not Action Master, Action action Man guns. But we've got some of these. Got a little sword. Another one of those. AK-47. A weird lightsaber thing. Uh, this gun's quite cool. A Uzi with a silencer on. A rocket. A pump-action shotgun. And some smaller blades. Um, now, why did you pick up them if you don't know what they are? 
Well, the lady actually said, oh, I know what those are for. Those are for these figures that are on the table. And I said, oh, come, show me where they are. And she showed me all of these. <laughs> so we had this little guy. It looks a little bit like food. <laughs> I, I remember what the I remember these, but I don't know what they are. Um, but yeah, gold plastic weapon. So that's probably going to turn to dust. But I really like that. I'm going to hold on to that. It's just going to sit on my desk. Really cool. They had on there um, some. I think these are monster in my pocket wrestlers. Dave Shotton has confirmed this. They should tell me what they are. I knew they were monster in my pocket, but not the wrestlers line. So, yeah picked up those there's one of these things I haven't got a clue what it is and uh, thanks to Kato I didn't know what these are but Kato got back to me on Instagram we've got some snailians never heard of them before not many listed on eBay they're meant to come with armour pieces and part of me thinks the armour pieces might have been on the on the floor um, but she said yeah these guns go with all these um, all these figures um, 50p for a lot and I was like well the monster in my pocket is probably worth that alone so I'll, I'll pick them up so all of these plus the guns and the viking were 50p so I couldn't really mount it that could I then I went onto another store and I spotted a Ben 10 wallet actually that's what pulled me over to it I thought oh there might be some Ben 10 toys in here there wasn't uh, but as I was looking for a box a lad said oh some more figures here the 10ph Got another Master Chief. Um, so last week at TFN, I gave uh, the masterpiece that I got from the charity shop to James for his son, because he was looking for one. And I've got another one. This is a different mould. It's missing some pieces on the shoulders this time. Um, but yeah, I've got another masterpiece, and this one was ten pay. And then on the very final store, um, this bloke was chucking that loads of bits. And uh, I spotted a few items on there. I spotted that Optimus Prime that Oliver had in his haul. That was a main thing because he, he likes rescue bots and, and little figures he can carry around. Uh, I spotted this, which is from, I always forget this guy's name. Um, but he's from Guardians of the Galaxy anyway. It was one of the bobblehead things, but his head was to one side. Anyway, um, I got home and I started to have a look. Should have a spring inside, and the spring was all basically someone had pulled it off and shoved it all back on. So what I've done is I've just basically stuck a drilled a hole inside the middle and inside the top of the head and put a little stick in there to hold his head on. But that was ten p, so I'm not going to cry about that really. Um, I'm not into Doctor Who, but this was ten p. <laughs> um, little cool spot, um, Cyberman. So, yeah, I'm not into Doctor Who at all, but I think this was pretty cool. And that can just sit next to some of the Lego pieces I've got, even though it's not Lego. I thought it was pretty cool. And then the final item was another Transformer. This was a pound. It was One Step Challenger Megatron. Uh, not Megatron, sorry, Galvatron from the uh, last night. Is it last night? Age of Extinction. Sorry, Age of Extinction. I get those two confused because they're both terrible. Um... I have got a Galvatron figure, and I thought it was the same one. And I thought, well, at least I can stick it in a bundle with the rest of those bots and, and put them on eBay. But actually, this is a different figure, and I really like it. It's a one-step changer. So you press that down, you turn this around, and it auto-transforms. And I really like that. It's really, really cool. Yeah. Um, it's... I spent, basically, including the Blu-ray, around a tenner on all this stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun, and if some of it's junk, it's junk. But uh, I've I've already listed the monsters in my pocket and the uh, Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit things on eBay. I've got a few things for a, a mate at work. I've got a Blu-ray that uh, I probably would have paid a ten or four anyway. So yeah, um, I'm happy I've picked up some of this stuff. Um, a lot of it will be moved on. Um, this haul doesn't hold a lot of stuff that I really, really, really want to hold on to. As I say, it's probably just going to be these bits <laughs> that I hold on to. Maybe the stallions, because they're a bit of an oddity. But we'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little haul video. I've been Zort Rider. Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday. And if I get out of bed in the morning, I'll go and see if there's some more goodies to be had at the car boot. Catch you again soon.